Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lynn If you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping by. Uh, my channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fantastic yarny community. Uh, returning subscribers, hi, thanks so much for coming and spending a little bit of your Wednesday with me for Vlogmas Day 14. Um, 14 days. It, this is really flying by, but I'm having fun and I hope you are too. Today is not going to be my normal Whip Wednesday. It's going to be short and sweet because I got to get out of here. I, I got to go into town again today and I am not looking forward to it. The traffic is going to be crazy because it's gloomy and rainy and people don't know how to drive in the rain here in Florida. Anyway, so I'm going to show you my, uh, Scrappy Deppy Do Square of the Day for Scraps of Love. We're going to open the um, Advent Calendar. And I got some happy mail. So, um, we'll start with our Scraps of Love. Hashtag Scraps of Love. Which is a hashtag created by Lynette at Charmed Grammy and Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2. I'm doing a different version called the... Uh, According to Jaxie at Jax Creations, Scrappy Doo Dah Day Square, um, because I didn't have scraps, but I wanted to do something fun for um, Vlogmas, and I thought a square day would work. And then at the end, I'm going to have a blanket that I could donate to Camp Bogie Creek. So my squares are made out of Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo stripes and favorite stripes is the colorway and the white is uh Karen baby cakes in white today's square ta-da very green yellow forward just a little bit of orange so yeah I these are I know I've said it a million times, but I'm loving these squares. They're so bright and so cheery. Anyway, so yeah, we're we're getting there. Tomorrow will be 15, and I can put together another row, and we're 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 cooking along. I'm I'm really liking it. So those are my scraps of love, aka day scrappy do that day now there are other podcasters doing this you know Lynette's doing um her I think she's doing two blankets um she's at uh charm Grammy Lynette I don't know Nancy have you said Lynette I said Nancy and she's got yarn too she's doing two blankets um Jan the Elastin Crafter is doing one uh Jaxy with Jack's Creations by Jax. She's doing one. Um, Laura Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming is doing one. And I know I'm forgetting somebody, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. But put in the hashtag Scraps of Love 2022. And those of us who have tagged that in our videos, it'll pop up and you'll see everybody's squares and see what everybody's doing. Advent, day 14, in our little suitcase boxes. Again, this Advent came from Studio Seville in Michigan. She's got an Etsy shop listed below. Today's selection, oh, now these could be used as earrings. Look at the little pearls with the little crystals. Aren't those sweet? I can see wearing those as an earring. Nice and smooth, super lightweight. Yeah, I. They're adorable. And those definitely could be used as a as a earring. So yeah. That is day 14 of the advent calendar. Super cute, super sweet. Um, as far as crocheting wise, I have started my next uh, forget-me-not sweater. Um, I'm 
I'm booking along on that. I'll show you tomorrow. It's in the living room. I forgot to bring it back here with me. But I am booking along on that one. It shouldn't take me but maybe four, four days in total. Because today and tomorrow, I don't have a whole lot of sit down and crochet time. Uh, I've got appointments and things I got to handle the next two days. So, but I'm thinking by early next week, I should have that done because the pattern is so, once you've got it in your head, you just need the measurements and you can go. And I'm really loving it. I'll show you my progress tomorrow. So the last thing I got is Happy Mail. And you know, this time of year, everybody's getting deliveries from Amazon and Walmart and blah, 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 blah. Well, a bunch of Amazon packages came yesterday uh, from UPS. And I knew what I had ordered that was supposed to be coming in today. And I couldn't, for the life of me, figure this one out. So I opened it um, thinking... Did I order something in my sleep? What's the deal here? But no, 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 no. One of my subscriber friends sent me something in Happy Mail. And the card was in here that says, A gift for you so you can take your C to C to the next level and have an easy day of Vlogmas content. Merry Christmas, my yarny friend from Yarn is a Sport, and that's Dawn. And if you haven't checked out her channel, you know, go do that. She's she's a very smart cookie, that one. But anyway, she sent me this adorable pattern blanket that has some of the cutest. Look at this one. I love this one with the colors. And I'm thinking next Christmas, maybe the snowman. It's just, it's very, very sweet. Um, I've never worked, like, look, an owl and a raccoon. And I'm thinking that's a hedgehog. Look at the little fox. I mean, oh, come on, how cute are those? Now, I have never, ever, ever, ever done a graphgan is that the term for it and I was like I don't know how but this you know it gives you the idea of how to do it and it tells you where like the practice is a little heart so that you can do a heart blanket and I think it it says it's an easy pattern so, and it tells you how, where you're increasing and then where you're decreasing. And I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll start with the little hearts to see if I can do it before I go into one of these bigger Afghans. But these are sweet and I just, I'm putting this on my, I'm going to do this list next year after I get through, um, Sophie's Universe, because that is my big project for next year, starting in January. And I hope that I can start on time. I don't know where I will be in my recovery. I heard from my doctor yesterday. I go for my pre-op on the 29th of, Jan of December, and my surgery is scheduled for the 4th of January. So I don't know where I will be able to be crocheting come I think they're starting like the 10th or 11th of January I'm probably going to end up being a couple weeks behind but I intend on doing this blanket if not if I can't then you know oh well we'll see how things go with my recovery they're telling me it's not going to be bad it's just going to be in that cervical collar for three months so and there's always workarounds um somebody I think it was even Dawn sent me a link to a pair of glasses that have little mirrors on them so that you can sit up straight and look out the mirrors and looking down at a, at a project. So there's workarounds. Um, I'm not one to sit idle. And for me to have this collar on for three months, I'm not really looking forward to it, but we'll see. It'll, it'll work out some way or another. We'll figure it out. But Dawn, thank you so much for this cute book. 
and the inspiration to try to move my crochet on to the next level. So, so guys, that's all I got for today. Short and sweet. Um, I got to run. I got a million things to do today and I want to be able to, uh, get some good quality crafting time in. Thank you, Sam and Mike for, for putting that in my head because it's important, especially this time of year when everybody's stressed out that you take a deep breath, maybe sit down with a coffee or a tea or a hot chocolate or a bottle of water and just give yourself a half an hour to relax, get some quality crafting time in, um, and just decompress from the day. So until I see you tomorrow, be kind to everyone.